I know I'm quite early, but here is a little bullet journal setup tutorial for November. It's kind of embarrassing to admit, but I'm actually starting this video with covering up a mistake. I wrote down a completely wrong month at a glance, so instead of using gallons of whiteout to hide it, I'll cover up this bit with some brown paper, which I'll crumple to get some nice texture. Brown paper like this is frequently used as packaging and padding for parcels, so just save this when you get a package and you'll always have some handy. I really like this design with the paper and the crumpliness, and I'm happy I got to try it, as I probably wouldn't have gone for it if didn't have to cover up a mistake. So I'm writing my month at a glance for November onto my scrap paper instead of directly in my Vujo. The journal I'm using is this very cute white hardcover, which I actually designed myself. It's now for sale on my website, so go check it out if you're interested, and you can also save 10% using the code on the screen. And now it's time to decorate. I'm going for a toadstool slash mushroom theme this month, so I'm just sketching out a few little toadstools and then coloring them in with markers. I'll add a deeper or darker red for some shading as well, like so. Opposite my November cover I'll put my goals for this month and some focus points.
but again I'll add a cute little mushroom in the corner for decoration. Moving on to the habit trackers. Since I use so many layers of markers on the cover page, I have a little bleeding going on, which I'll cover up with another bit of torn brown paper. Usually the paper of my journal holds up really well with markers. Mild liners, for instance, are no problem at all, but I just put down one or two layers too many on the mushrooms. Using a nice calligraphy font, I'll put down habits on the brown paper and then move on to my trackers. Usually I go for a horizontal habit tracking layout, but I really want to try this style which I've seen in several videos. So I'll draw a little month skeleton for each habit individually. For decoration I'm going to stay black and white on this spread and as part of my design I'll trace a little frog drawing here. A really cool way to transfer a design easily is to just shade the back of your design with some graphite pencil and then go over it with pencil from the other side, transferring the graphite shading onto your paper. After that I'll just go over it with a fine liner. And then I'm also going to add another toadstool drawing, this time kept monochrome.
above my little sketch we'll put the monthly overview like so and I'll put the initials of each day above that. Back to color on the weekly spread, I'll just use my usual two column setup with days on the left and my to-do list on the right. Decorate with some mushrooms and we're done. This weekly spread is very quick to set up, it only takes around 10 minutes and for me it works best since I don't have many events on a daily basis, but I do have quite a long to-do list each week. And this is how the journal looks for November. I really hope you like it and got inspired by it and I'll see you next time.